Uh, this entertainment burrito, as you know, has been hastily assembled. Uh, the uh, delicious, entertaining tortilla in which it is wrapped is comprised of two ingredients, primarily. One of them is Paul Sabora. The other one is Jean Grey. But I feel liquored up. I think it's just osmosis. Fuck does. My, my, I had my glass of wine, but my shoulder pads really got me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you know? You know when you start singing like stupid words to so an earworm? It's, it's kind of my head. job. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what was happening while I was waiting backstage. I got pads. <laughs> In shoulders. <laughs> then I got all the pants. <laughs> Under the shoulders. That's one, two, three, four. Many shoulders. Gonna make you, make you, make your shoulders. Gonna use my shoulders. Gonna use my shoulders. Gonna use my shoulders. Gonna use my shoulders. <laughs> So that it stopped. Yeah. <laughs> For the rest of the night. I, I, I feel that. <laughs> Damn it. That was all I can think of. <laughs> And on that note... I look good, it's what shoulders would do. <laughs> what would shoulders do? That's what my bumper shoulders. sticker says. <laughs> you do have a lot of shoulders going on It's there. so much! <laughs> is, it, is it too many shoulders, is the question. Is there such a thing? Uh, no, I, I think um, in my younger life, I would have been like, too many shoulders. <laughs> Like too many hooks, but shoulders. And then I turned 40 and I was like, more shoulders. I need so many more shoulders. I did not, I, I finally understood the 80s, like full. Yeah. So, um, women with huge shoulders. Dynasty is just made of shoulders. <laughs> Everything else is okay, and they're rich, but they have more fucking shoulders than that. I, I like to imagine that. Um, Somewhere in the garment district in 1979, mm -hmm. somebody, they were, you know, knocking down the building or excavating or something, and they sort of punched into the ground, and suddenly this cavern opened up that you know, they'd forgotten was built into this building 50 years prior, and it was just this vast warehouse of shoulder pads. <laughs> and they all looked at each other and was like, what in the Christ are we supposed to do with all of these? What do we do with the shoulders? Here's where I went with that story in my mind. Okay. So they open up the vault and there's this crazy genetically altered lady standing there and her shoulders are just, she's wandering around, she's starving. And they got clothes up so long ago because she was like, please help me. And her shoulders are eight feet wide. Please kill me! Please kill me. <laughs> uh, Salacia. Um, today is, I don't say this for gratuitous applause, today is my birthday. <laughs> Nonetheless, there it was. Thank you for that. What I wanted to ask you, Jean, is... Some 
legitimately frightening as shit up here. But I'll tell you, we white people are just what? full of surprises, aren't we? Okay. I'm not freaked out at all. <laughs> let, let's, okay. let's try to reel this back in. Okay. Here's the thing that we do in the Paul and Storm organization, one of our favorite ways to deal with birthdays, to acknowledge them and get the fuck out of the way of them. Okay. Uh, when it is somebody's birthday in your gathering or whatever, or even if it's not somebody's birthday, okay. just sitting there at a, at a restaurant, table of six or whatever. Just just this. Ha as if you try to get everyone going, ha I just end it. <laughs> everyone knows where it was gonna go. No, I like it. Sufficient. It's that's clean. A, that's a very adult way of handling it. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's you fucking. Ha. Uh, in case you're wondering what next year's Netflix documentary about a cult leader is going to feature, it is going to be a black and white image of Jean Grey from that right there. Shoulders you out for my eyes. from the shoulders. <laughs> Your shoulders too. <laughs> yeah, you're going to play with this toy till it's broke.